That's it. This is it. I'm done. Through. It's over. I'm gone. Finished. Over. I will never work for you again. Look at you. <laughs> you think you're an important man? Is that what you think? You are a laughing stock. You are a joke. These people are laughing at you. You're nothing. You have no brains, no ability, nothing. I quit. <laughs> I like sports. I could do something in sports. <laughs> all right. All right. It's 8.08 right down there. Meanwhile, I'll get you the Penske file. You can start working on that. Yes, yes, of course. The Penske file. Oh, can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Wow, that Penske. Well, we'll straighten him out. <laughs> Basically, George, the job here is quite simple. Selling bras. Well, that interests me very much, Mr. Fox. It's very much indeed, sir. Have you ever sold a woman's line before? No, but um, I have a very good rapport with women. Very good, comfortable. And from the first time I laid eyes on a brassiere, I was enthralled. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I was... I didn't know in what way or on what level, but I knew I wanted to be around brassieres. That's an incredible story. You have a remarkable passion for brassiers. Well, well, they're more than just underwear to me, Mr. Farkas. Two cups in the front, two loops in the back. <laughs> How do they do it? Well, I think I can say, barring some unforeseen incident, that you will have a very bright future here at E.D. Gronlund. Thank you, Mr. Farkas. Thank you very much indeed, sir. See you Monday, 9 o'clock. If you don't mind, sir. I'll be here at 8. Excellent. <laughs> Want to sell computers? I will show you how to sell computers. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fenneman. You want to buy a computer? No? Why not? <laughs> All right, I see. Good answer. Thank you. I'm Vandalay Industries. Right. What is that? You're in latex. <laughs> latex? Right. And what do I do with latex? I don't know. You manufacture it. Right here in this little apartment? <laughs> and what do I say about you? You're considering hiring me for your latex salesman. I'm going to hire you as my latex salesman? Right. I don't think so. <laughs> Yellow. What delay industries? No. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the right number, but this isn't an apartment. Yeah, what? Save the light! Save the light! Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, sir. There's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Mr. Costanza. He's one of the applicants. Nice to meet you. Well, I wish I could say the same, but I must say, with all due respect, I find it very hard to see the logic behind some of the moves you have made with this fine organization. In the past 20 years, you have caused myself and the city of New York a good deal of distress as we have watched you take our beloved Yankees and reduce them to a laughing stock, all for the glorification of your massive ego. Hire this man. First, the trainer for the cigarettes and the diet shakes. I'm sorry, the players will be reimbursed? The trainer, George. Tell the players I'll reimburse the trainer. What's the matter with you? This is the third time I've had to repeat myself. Sorry, Mr. Willard. Well, look, sorry doesn't cut it. We're running a ball club here, George. You've got to pay attention. I know, sir. It won't happen again. Let me see. I, uh, I had an assignment for you. Uh, let, me, uh, let me think here. <laughs> when you're done, George, you can bring it directly to me. Mr. Steinbrenner is very interested in this. Yes, sir. Yes, George. I want you to make this project a top priority. I will, sir. Top priority. Top priority. Top priority. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Wilhelm. 
Oh, yes, George. <laughs> Hi, I, I, I was just, uh, I just had one little question about the... Uh, my assignment. Yes, well, I trust things are moving smoothly. Mr. Steinburn is counting on you, you know. Yes, yes, very smooth, super smooth. Good. You know, but I, I really want to attack this thing, you know, sink my teeth into it. So I, I was just wondering, what do you think would be the, the very best way to get started? Get started? Uh, I don't understand, George. Well, I was wondering... You mean you haven't been to payroll? Payroll? No, no, I haven't done that. Well, what's the problem? Now, come on, George. I told the big man you were moving on this. Now, don't let him down. Payroll! Is that the job? George, everybody here at Play Now is just very impressed with you, but I, I'm sure you've heard that before. Well? No? And I don't want you to think that anyone's going to treat you any differently just because of your, uh, uh handicap. Handicap? Oh, I'm, I'm not handicapped. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Differently uh, uh, advantaged. See, I, I didn't mean that. Of course, you will have your own private, fully equipped bathroom. <laughs> when do I start? Let's order lunch. Mary, I will have a chef's salad. Turkey sandwich. T-bone steak. For lunch? Well, I am just a T-bone kind of guy. <laughs> Love that T-bone. <laughs> In fact, you might as well call me. That sounds good. I'll have one too. What? Did you have a T-bone? I love them. Well, then we should call you T-bone. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we shouldn't. T-bone. 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 It's come to my attention that you and the cleaning woman have engaged in sexual intercourse on the desk in your office. Is that correct? <laughs> Who said that? She did. Was that wrong? Should I not have done that? I tell you, I gotta plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon... <laughs> Because you know, I've worked in a lot of offices, and <laughs> I tell you, people do that all the time. So. You're fired. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. I, I want you out of here by the end of the day. Where the hell is this guy? I'm waiting here three and a half hours for crying out loud. Should I go? No way, Jack. I'm not humming it to the guy at the record store again, I'll tell you that. Mr. Steinbrenner? That's what they call me. Your grandchildren are here to see you. Oh, well, send them in. Send the types in. And wait to see them. Hey, you little kids. Who, who are you people? Come here. Come here. How about a ride on the Stein Pony Express? Get up here. What's your name? Shorty? Mel? Are you Mel? Hello. Jerry. Jerry. I'm trying to find my desk. Steinbrenner's in the room. You gotta help me. Who is this? Hi. 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 I'm Brian. You got me. Why don't you just have him paged? Because I can't see the extensions. Come on. 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 Sure. Yeah? What field? Marine biology. George is a marine biologist? Yeah, pretty damn good one, too. Oh, I can't believe it. I, I would never have thought. Yeah, he's specializing in whales. He's working on lowering the cholesterol level in whales. All that blubber. It's quite unhealthy. You know, it's the largest mammal on Earth, but as George says, they don't have to be. My physician, marine biologist. I'm very uncomfortable with this whole thing. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. Well, it's not up my alley. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. <laughs> You've got me in the Galapagos Islands living with the turtles. I don't know where the hell I am. Well, you came in the other day with all that whale stuff, the squeaking and the squealing and... Look, why couldn't you make me an architect? You know I always wanted to pretend that I was an architect. I forgot who I am. Who am I? You're you. We're having lunch with Art Corvallet. Vandalay. Corvallet. 
Let me be the architect. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> hey, hey. So, George, you're proposing a snow tire day at Yankee Stadium. As long as I don't throw them on the field. <laughs> Help yourself to some shrimp. I brought it up for everybody. I have to say, this, this proposal doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, you never know. Let's see how many I can fit in my mouth. <laughs> you know, George, the ocean called. They're running out of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Riley? <laughs> well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. <laughs> What's the difference? You're their all-time bestseller. <laughs> yeah? Well, I had sex with your wife. His wife is in a coma. You look a little pale. No, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. Very good. What, are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I'm good. I'm very good. I can't do this. I can't do this. What? I can't do this. I can't do it. I've tried. I'm here. It's impossible. This was your idea. What idea? I just said something. I didn't know you were going to listen to me. Don't worry about it. They're just TV executives. They're men with jobs, Jerry. They wear suits and ties. They're married. They have secretaries. I told you not to come. I need some water. I gotta get some water. They'll give us water in there. Really? It's pretty good. What? Your hands. What about them? They're quite exquisite. They are? Extraordinary. Have you ever done any hand modeling? Hand modeling? Here's my card. Why don't you uh, give me a call? Mr. O'Brien. Uh, no, I'm uh, Dylan Murphy. Uh, Mr. O'Brien had a long trip. He's sleeping. Oh. I don't want to disturb him. We're just really excited to meet him face to face, finally. We're faithful readers of his newsletter. Newsletter? Right, of course, his great book, Big Game. Oh, yes, he's uh, very proud of his work in the uh, big game. <laughs> so you've never uh, met him before? No. Never seen a picture of him? Never. Not even on the book jacket? There was no picture on the book jacket. Hey, O'Brien, wake up. Come on, we got company. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> well, hello. So, um... You've read the big game, have you? Yes, I've read it and, and I've memorized it. <laughs> well, tell me your impressions. I would love to hear what a young woman thinks of the, uh, the big game. Well, this is sort of embarrassing. <gasps> but it's changed my life. The way you analyze the game, the way you identify the major players. Oh, it left me breathless. You're brilliant. Brilliant man. Well, it's, it's just a game. Remember that, kids. Is that the Cal Jones, Mr. Steinbrenner? Oh, beautiful. I'm starving, George. So, I thought tomorrow uh, maybe we try a little corned beef. Corned beef? Man, I don't think so. It's a little fatty, don't you think? <laughs> How about Chinese? Chinese? No. Too many containers. Big mess. Big mess. Very sloppy. <laughs> We're going to stick with the calzones from Paisanos. That's the ticket. Just thought it'd be nice, you know, a little variety. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. George, let me tell you something. When I find something I like, I stick with it. From 1973 to 1982, I ate the exact same lunch every day. Turkey, chili, and a bowl made out of bread. Bread bowl, George. You'd eat the chili, then you'd eat the bowl. Nothing more satisfying than looking down after lunch and seeing just a table. You wanted to see me, El Presidente? Si, si, muevete, come here. I understand you're very interested in one of our players, huh? Oh, see, see. Ordinarily, I would not grant such a request, but I've heard you are, uh, how you say, 
comunista simpatico, eh? Muy simpatico, muy, muy, muy. <laughs> well, good. Then you can have your pick. Oh, oh. They will play for your Yankees, oh, eh? Oh, well, <laughs> gracias, el comandante, gracias. Muy, muy. <laughs> and I would be honored if you would be my guest for dinner tonight at the presidential palace. There will be girls there. Oh. And I hear some pretty good food. Of course, the problem with parties is you invariably have to eat standing up, which I don't care for. But on the other hand, I don't like to balance a plate on my lap either. Once when I was at a party, I put my plate on someone's piano. I assure you, if I had not been a dictator, I would not have been able to get away with that one. Here, George, my office is out of control. Phones ringing, people running in and out. <laughs> you hear something? No, I, I didn't hear anything. Huh. That's strange. Well, it's quieter down here. We can concentrate without people whooshing around. <laughs> that sound again. Sure you didn't hear anything? No, can't, can't say as I did. <laughs> kind of like a rustling. <laughs> Could be the leaves. <laughs> uh, Kramer, don't start. No, no. <laughs> You're wasting your life. I am not. What you call wasting, mm. I call living. Mm -hmm. I'm living my yeah, life. Well, okay. Like what? No, no, tell me. Do you have a job? No. You got money? No. Do you have a woman? No. Do you have any prospects? No. You got anything on the horizon? Uh, no. You have any action at all? No. Do you have any conceivable reason for even getting up in the morning? I like to get the daily news.